I'm the youngest of six sisters, so I had five older, amazing women who were my role models as I was growing up. They taught me all the important things in life, uh, when to say no, um, how to be passionate about something, how to put on mascara the right way. I was uh, fortunate to be uh, guided by them in so many different ways. Leadership to me um, represents people who make things happen. You know, there's uh, entrepreneurs tend to be big dreamers. I think what separates strong leaders from just big dreamers are those who can actually take those dreams and turn them into action. I'm often asked what motivated me to be an entrepreneur. I fell into this. I did not plan to start a business. I planned to start a magazine. Being an entrepreneur is soul crushingly difficult. If you don't know that, if you can't stand up to it, you should not do it. Next, I think you need a tremendous amount, almost a pathological stubbornness. You need to be committed to your path and you need to pursue it with great passion. My husband is a tremendous role model in my life. He has been very successful in his own right and certainly showed me um, and given me the strength that I needed to continue on at any given time. I've had uh, the opportunity to watch Ruth in action. She's been a great inspiration to not only the people that work for her, but the people that work with her. She's the kind of individual that is very successful at taking on ambitious tasks, bringing other people to the table. She inspires enthusiasm and others to uh, join her in those tasks. And over the years, she's contributed a great deal to not only our community, but to our province. The opportunities I've had to serve my community have been an unexpected blessing. They were really an outcome of being in the media, being uh, the business owner of a magazine, and having the chance to do some things that I felt very passionately about. You know, I've learned a great deal from Ruth. First of all, her work ethic. Uh, Ruth is one of the hardest working uh, individuals that I've had the pleasure of knowing. Uh, she's very focused when it comes to achieving great things, whether it's chairing the Edmonton Chamber of Commerce, helping to raise money for the Art Gallery of Alberta, whether it's helping to make our communities a better place to live or work. Uh, Ruth knows how to get the job done. The things that I try and show in my life to my coworkers, to the general audience that I, uh, business community that I walk in, um, is a sense of, of authenticity to who I am. Ruth inspires people just by being who she is. She's just nonstop. Uh, you know, some days you wonder if she ever sleeps. Laughter inside the workplace is extremely important. And I hope that my friends and the people I see in my personal life as well um, also enjoy that sense of humor. Ruth is a lot of fun. Uh, she always has a great sense of humor. I think that's one of the reasons why she's an inspiration to others because she never takes herself too seriously. At the end of the day, she's very much a people person. She understands how to engage people and how to bring other people to the table in, uh, in joining her in a conversation. I'm very fortunate in the uh, people I work with. They have such passion for what they do. and carries me, lifts me up, and teaches me that you know, what I'm doing is important to them, not just to me. Mentorship has been an important part of my life. It goes back to when I uh, was involved with the Big Brothers and Sisters program, and I learned in that role that mentorship has a tremendous capacity to shape someone's life, to bring from them the best of who they should be. Ruth has been somebody that I go to see when I need advice. Um, she was somebody that I called when I first started uh, in my job, and she gave me some very, very good advice about how to build an organization of significance. Ruth Kelly, who's this year's recipient, is a great example of a strong woman entrepreneur, the kind of people we need more of in this province. Ruth is a fabulous recipient for this award and deserves all the congratulations in the world. Ruth, I would like to extend uh, our congratulations on behalf of Enbridge uh, for this well-deserved honor. Over the years, you've been an inspiration, not only to me, but to a great many people. The business I'm in, media, is evolving on a daily basis. The pace of change has been phenomenal. But I don't see that as anything but a great opportunity for us to explore new exciting ways to communicate with people. There are so many things I still want to achieve. So many places to go. You know, business is a path, it's not a, a destination. And the journey towards success has been, um, you know, intriguing and interesting in its own right. What does that mean to you, for, for this particular body to award this to you? Well, I think, first of all, Alberta is one of the most 
entrepreneurial jurisdictions in Canada, if not North America. And so to be recognized for as an entrepreneur in, in that mm. context is particularly mm. meaningful to me. But really what it says is, um, for me, is how grateful I am for the support of the many of our readers, of our advertisers, and of course of our, my uh, co-workers over the last 16 years. And I think finally, because it is the Alberta Women Entrepreneurs, an association that I, I value deeply, um, I'm, I'm particularly gratified and humbled.